You know, everyone seems to love Lovecraft, but no one really seems to acknowledge the fact that the guy was like a horrible, awful racist. Except for this game, where there's just nonstop white everywhere. This is Canarium. It's from Zoetrope uh, Interactive. It's built on Unreal Engine 4. Yay, another UE4 game. What is it? Uh, Canarium is a chilling Lovecraftian game which follows a gripping story involving four scientists and their endeavor to challenge what we normally consider to be the absolute limits of nature. Inspired by Lovecraft's novella At the Mountains of Madness, but largely set after the original story. Dev sent us some keys for this. Thanks a lot. This is the chair qa edition where we take a game like Conarium and we run it through its paces. We uh, play a little. We give. We get around a little conversation here, give our thoughts. Uh, maybe do a little QA that the developers neglected to do before pushing this out to production. And uh, give it a chair rating. One chair means that it's garbage. Two chairs means that it's meh. Three chairs means that it's pretty good. Four chairs means that it's awesome. And we got our categories. Oh, Doom makes with the working. Shiny sounds, controls, and fun. So let us kick off the chair QA edition with the, with, the, with the most important thing. Did it work? Hmm. <laughs> then, hey, man. Uh... Gotta love the chair acquisition where we get to tear, tear apart things that uh, make other people angry, apparently. Uh, so, over here on Humbuntu 1710 running back, reverted to the 414.21, whatever it is this week. That kernel, latest, nope, not latest NVIDIA drivers, because they have issues too. 387. On the Ryzen 1700, powered by 980, displayed at UHD, which ultimately would be the preferred way to play this game, because it's Unreal Engine 4, and um, basically your only option is UHD or windowed, because you're not going to do 1080p full screen to save your damn life. That needs to be fixed. That's an issue. And that's kind of sad for something like this. It's atmospheric and all that. So I'm playing in a 1080p window on a UHD monitor. But that said, at 1080p, man, this thing runs like stink, man. That's a brilliant, brilliant thing to see on Unreal Engine 4 because it's not known to be terribly performant. And we were talking in the pre-show or the pre-pre-super shows and patrons check that business out tomorrow. Um, no texture pop in for Unreal Engine 4, which... Mm -hmm. That caused me to go back and like double check that this was UE4. It turns out it was. But yeah, uh couldn't Steam overlay, can't take screenshots. It's like a damn checklist of known issues with UE4 that can they are fixable, but they weren't fixed, Brad. So I'm gonna throw you on a just a straight two on that. Your game technically works. You can play it if you are persistent enough. If you're kind of new to Linux and yeah, there, there's a whole lot of refund button up in this if you don't know your way around stuff like this and you're not doing it on a daily basis. Yeah, like the man says, this thing runs fine in windowed mode. Uh, the one thing I did notice on uh, Fedora 24 or 2664 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 980 is that, um, man, I just completely lost my train of thought there. Uh, <laughs> right, no, it, it, uh, it, in in full screen mode, it actually runs worse in 1080p than it does in 4K, which is some sort of UE4 moon sorcery. I'm not 100% sure how that actually works. But yeah, I, I played along for the first little bit of my uh, playthrough of this game, uh, checking along at about 27 frames a second. Then I'm like, oh yeah, you can put this in windowed mode and run fine. And all of a sudden, yeah, like well above 60 FPS. I mean, I got to play it in itty bitty window on my 4K monitor, but it is what it is. Three chairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you see, some games, they start on the wrong monitor, looking at you, Unity. Uh, but that's usually just a keyboard uh, combo away from a workaround. It's still shit, but it, there's a workaround for it. This game, if you have two audio devices, it'll pick the wrong one, because I have the headset that I do for my games, because it sounds real nice. And I have the speakers on the monitor, which are shit, that I usually just use while I'm listening to a YouTube video, going around the place, doing other things. And this game just was hell-bent on using the speakers on the monitor. I had to disable the HDMI audio to get it to come through the headset. That is shit. And that gets you dinged a chair. Mm -hmm. Now, out of curiosity, did you try changing the default sync and pulse audio? Oh, yes. Doesn't right. respect it. <laughs> All right, well, that's two chairs for Mix with the Working. How about the shiny and the sounds? Because I think, I think this game gets should get a lot of props for its sound design. 
because it, it it's really good like they, they, they yeah. nailed the creepy noises there you can you can hear like the building you're in shift as you're just kind of standing around you go what the fuck is that it's it's really well done um almost makes up for the fact that there is so much reading involved in this game <laughs> oh my god and um all the indoor areas really do look kind of like the stock ue4 environment demos um so it's, it's it, i feel there are some reused default assets in here but it all looks good because it's ue4 um unlike the other ue4 game where it was just like oh or what was it steam worlds or steam ball yeah something steam, like that. something steam, steam ball where like it the, yeah that was all nice and like ue4 graphics but they're kind of it still kind of look crappy this actually looks relatively nice i don't really i'm not really a big fan of like the fog of war killing the render distance uh, mm-hmm. I get why they're doing it to make things more mysterious, but it's just like shit. Did I come from there? I don't remember because I wasn't paying attention. So now I got to go through mm-hmm. and reorient myself. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it looks good. I'll give it. I'll give it three chairs. Mm-hmm. Pedro. Yeah, uh, the voice acting is really bad. Like really bad. The first thing you hear before you even get to the atmospheric creepy noises. The voice acting is awful. The moment the dude gets up from the chair and it's the amnesia thing, it's like, oh, look, you just woke up and you don't remember anything. Um, He sounds so stilted. Uh, It it is a mood killer, in my opinion, because, again, the rest of the game, really good ambience noise, really good, like, background, just the very subtle things going on in the background. Very, very good sounds. And that just kills all the atmosphere. Uh, the outside bits, the very few bits that you actually get to go outside, they're really nice. The insides, be it like the station where you start or the temple area or the ruins area as you progress through the game, they they look so generic. They're, there's almost no visual storytelling whatsoever. In fact... Most of the storytelling, as Jordan already mentioned, is conveyed through walls of text, but more on that later. Mm. Ben? Sound design's pretty good. Sufficiently creepy, if that's your thing. It didn't play the Mount Meow Mix in the background. That would have fucked with me way too much, so thanks for not giving me nightmares. Yeah, I agree with you. A shitload of reading, Lovecraftian inspired motherfucker didn't write pamphlets. So, kind of expected that the indoors, they look like uh, stock UE4. Uh, but, mm, again... Nothing wrong with that. It's not lazily done. It's not Unity Assetville. Um, <laughs> let's see. I think it, yeah, I mean, it really does look good, but it does look a little plasticky because Unreal Engine 4, I've seen this with almost every game we've touched. Everything's just a little too fucking shiny in the texture <laughs> department on that. And, but, Kind of, everything does come across just a little wee bit plasticky. Uh, the vo- voice acting, man, that dude voice... Oh, Jesus, that is like next level bad. That is like me not caring bad, which is it, it, bad. It, it's Marky Mark in The Happening. It's like, are you lying? Are you lying about lemon drink, boy? What? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's, it's like that. I don't tell you one of the downsides is this game does rely a lot on the audio, but I, I spent my time in it. With the headphones off and the downside with a game like this that really for the atmosphere relies on your environment, which is done well. Uh is you you're just going through a walking simulator at that point when you don't have that uh stimulation going on like, oh shit, what was that spooky noise and all that business? But it does what it sets out to, man. I gotta agree with you guys. We're gonna give that a solid three all the way down. Real quick, Jordan, how's this thing control, baby? I mean, you 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 buzzed, you you the and that that works all fine. The one weird annoying bit that I'm gonna ding at a chair for just because it's a little unintuitive, where right click is your journal and mm-hmm. then space is your inventory. It's when I hit space, I expect to jump. Okay, did you That's, did you discover your space was you? I, I discovered space was jump when I was in the area when you first get the hatchet with the plants because I was trying to suicide myself and jump over the railings. Uh, I was like, wait, oh, I have an inventory? All right. Yeah. I I, I got a crank that I'm trying to, like, uh, crank some elevator with. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, any, anyways, uh, yeah, so I'll give it I'll give it three chairs for uh, the controls. They they work. Yeah, for me, There's nothing not to complain right. about. There's it's no it's right. wasped. Everything worked. It was, aside from the space bar or the jump button, 
<laughs> uh, being inventory, everything else was logically laid out. I, I didn't. We've all played this game more, but on the fun section. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, I'll give it a solid four. It does what it's supposed to. I have one sticking point with the controls, and that sprinting is about as fast as a moderately brisk walk. I walk faster at 7 a.m. while I'm sleepy, walking out of the house to catch the bus than the protagonist in this game sprints. No. Three chairs. Mm. All right, well, that's, that's three chairs for controls. Let's put a bow on it. Pedro, did you have fun playing okay. this game? Uh, no. Uh, I went into this game expecting... Penumbra, or maybe even Soma, uh, I got Layers of Fear instead. I don't really enjoy the sequence of locked doors with random interspersing of visual noise to indicate, oh no, this is the bit where you should be scared, no. Uh, And you're not really in any danger, either. Um, The developers had to account for your character being two snails short of standing still while he moves, so the quote-unquote monsters in the latter parts of the games are the game meh are all just as slow. And the puzzles basically boil down to find key, use key on door. It, even the atmosphere, the atmosphere is pretty good. It just gets killed the moment someone opens their fat mouth to gab something. Uh, And there's always so much text to read. It kind of makes me wonder, if you were trying to pass off your HP Lovecraft fanfic, why not make it an ebook instead? It's instead it's just another mediocre puzzle game with a quote unquote horror theme. Then hmm. yep. what'd you think? Um listen, don't try to frictional if you ain't gonna go full frictional. Seriously, don't. Either I can interact with every goddamn thing in the fucking game or nothing. Don't don't like <laughs> give me this. You did a really bad job of that, too, because, like, some drawers, they, the same fucking drawers, or same fucking cabinet, same model used for these. Some of them you can open, some of them you can't. I'm not saying they were even locked. You don't even have that damn option. Um, as I was saying a minute ago, we've all played this game before, and you know what? We're going to play it again. This is, oh, look, you wake up alone, go walk around and find, figure out what the ooky spooky mysterious bullshit is. Um, Canarium, you know, it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. It is kind of wicked buggy in certain areas uh, where Jordan's at or in that area where you're getting the uh, elevator crank handle thingy. I've had it straight up glitch on me twice there where I had to go to their forums where everyone else was like, yeah, game breaking bug. (laughs) And I was like, oh, okay, let's reload. And I was able to get my way through it. Listen, guys, it's not a lazily done game, but, you know, as I just said, man, the wake up alone figure shit out genre has been played the hell out. And I think for 20 20 what stinky American caches, you can do better things like buy, buy the frictional bundle or something and, you know, <laughs> go back to where this shit started and got good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm with you, man. Just one on that. Yeah, I mean, and like it, like it's, it's been said already, it's another oopy spoopy generic walking simulator. And there are a few puzzles. Sometimes you got to like do that frequency matching thing or find a key or find an object to open things up that are. And, and then sometimes the game glitches out and doesn't work. I didn't. I didn't think to like reload and try that thing again. I I actually started going back. I'm like, maybe I missed a fucking item. Maybe this is the wrong crank. No, apparently it's the right crank. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I like the subject matter. I like sort of the follow up to Mountains of Madness. I like the whole HP Lovecraft dream realm thing where you can like sort of project yourself into like other realities and explore and fuck around and then awful shit happens because what hath science wrought? <laughs> Those. Those damn immigrants, according to Lovecraft, anyways. They're, they're, they're the ones at fault. Yeah, there's so there's like lots of cool little story bits in here that I kinda like that are that I th- I think they got like the Lovecrafting angle down, but there's just no gameplay to support it. It just becomes an oopy spoopy walking simulator. Oh, I gotta go solve a puzzle and walk through some doors, and oh there's a sound. Oh no, there's a there's a blurry man walking. I'm gonna go kick okay, him in the ball. Do, do you have this issue? I saw blurry man, I immediately dart towards him. I was chasing. No, I. Well, no, I. I see. Ever, ever, ever since I started doing like these horror games with you, Ven, mm-hmm. I have taken the Venstone approach. <laughs> Trade the trademark Venstone approach of ooh, scary monster. I'm gonna give it a hug because mm-hmm. it immediately kills whatever tension you have. Plus, you know if like oh, you can actually die in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
the it's boring is what it is i can't bring myself to play it because i just don't care there's a there's like a little bit of tickliness in like the storytelling but I, I, I don't know hp like the whole hp lovecraft thing is about exploring the frailty and smallness of humanity and this game just makes me want to take a nap one mm -hmm. share which tallies yeah. it out to one share for the fun ball it all up into a little crumply shit ball and you get two chairs listrider for conarium hey you man got anything you, anything you want to add before yeah we um, I, I got killed by a fucking plant that's my verdict <laughs> I, I mean tobacco will do that to you man you gotta stop smoking yeah no it's it, it could have been better it could have been penumbra it could have been Soma Soma was a for all intents and purposes a very atmospheric walking simulator with a lot of puzzles and it worked it was a really good game this on the other hand isn't <laughs>